You recently launched a $110 million new fund for crypto startups. What will you back and how do you make sure you're buying into the reality and not the hype? Yeah, so uh, first of all, we're backing the thesis of the ownership economy. Variant is very much focused on this particular thesis that all next generation internet platforms are going to be built, operated, and owned by their users. And we think that distributing ownership widely among one's user base creates really powerful incentive alignment that is going to allow networks to grow much bigger, faster than they could have under the centralized model of building platforms. And we think that crypto tokens uniquely and powerfully enables that by allowing value and ownership to be distributed much wide, much more widely among a larger base of participants. Um, this already exists in small scale in Silicon Valley in the form of stock option grants to employees. But if we think of all of the large platforms that have been built over the last decade in the creator economy or the gig economy, a lot of users have obviously been left out of that ownership equation. And so our thesis as a firm is really to invest in those next generation platforms that are going to distribute ownership over to their participants and create much larger networks than what were previously possible. So take us three, five, or I don't know, maybe it's 10 years out. How, do, how is this creator economy different than the creator economy today that is owned by, let's say, the Instagrams and TikToks and YouTubes of the world? Yeah, so I think we're at a really interesting moment in the evolution of the creator economy. Um, the creator economy has existed for a really long time, really ever since the birth of user-generated content platforms. There have been creators on the internet. I think what's really new and different right now is that a lot of those creators are seeing themselves as entrepreneurs and small business owners and trying to carve out a space for themselves online and monetize the attention that they have from their audience in different ways by offering different types of products. Um, but today, that really ex is existing on the terms of a few very centralized dominant social media platforms. Creators are not really in control of their content, their data, their end user relationships, how they actually monetize. And so my hope is going forward, um, and I think what is enabled by crypto is a creator economy in which creators are really able to be in control of their own destinies, where they're able to set the terms of how they monetize, um, how they own their content. They're, they're going to be able to hopefully be able to take their data with them and not be beholden to any one centralized platform. And I think that's really exist that's really exciting um, and unlocks so many new possibilities for creators. And furthermore, I think um, in that world, it's not just about the creator economy, it's actually about the community economy where creators can allow their fans to participate in the upside of their careers. And in that world, the lines between who's a creator versus who's a fan starts to blur and everyone is able to share in their success and um, be very aligned towards the success of the community. You've been really vocal about the rise of NFTs topping $13 billion in just the first three quarters of this year. How do you expect that to shake out? Like, what does it look like next year? Yeah, in general, we think that NFTs are a really broad new type of digital content, and I think they're going to encompass a lot of different types of assets on the internet. Essentially, everything around us in the physical world is like a non-fungible asset, and I think we're going to see that play out in the digital world as well. Right now, NFTs and all of the transaction volume around them is really around NFTs as digital, digital art and collectibles and people purchasing high-value collectibles. But I think in the future, you'll see a lot more use cases for NFTs, potentially Potentially in gaming or as access to special experiences. And so we're really excited to see all of those new use cases play out in the future. What's your take on the recent rally? Does it keep going up? Does it matter? Yeah, so um, it's definitely really exciting to see as just a participant in the ecosystem. But at the end of the day, we are running a long-term venture firm um, and we take a very long view on all of our investments. We're not day traders. We really are investing at the very earliest stages of these companies' existences. And we are really therefore kind of immune to the ups and downs in the market and, and don't pay all that much attention to it. I think the most exciting projects are going to take multiple years or decades to play out. And we really aim to be the long-term partners to those builders.